Executive Director here at the Civic Theater. I am really thrilled to have you guys here. I want to introduce a, a few folks here that are really, really great. Uh, first of all, Paul Nagel. This was his uh, brainchild. It was his idea. Paul Nagel. Of course, Jerry Casale. And our photographer, Janet Kokoska. And the guy who made this possible financially, Mr. Greg Mervis from the Summit County Convention Visitors Bureau and John S. Knight Center. Um, we just want to say very much that we're, th we're thankful that you guys are all here. This is a great concept. We're so thrilled to have the opportunity to uh, not only honor the band, uh, Devo, but also to clean up this little section of downtown and bring us all into the theater in a little bit different way. So many of you, I think probably a lot of you here, how many of you here are not from Summit County? Yeah, right? So what we know is, is that when folks come to a show here, about 60% of the people that come to a show here are not from Summit County. So we're so thrilled to have an opportunity to have our front door look just a little bit better. So thank you very much, Mr. Murphy. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Greg Murphy. Oh, great, I get to go first, I guess so. <laughs> the pressure. Okay, Akron, are you ready? Are we not men? We are! there's nothing else to say, right? Um, so we're thrilled with Howard and his team here at the, the Civic do a fantastic job through our Destination Development Grant Program. We're thrilled to be able to fund this and hopefully it's the start of something uh, even bigger and better to come, but what a wonderful first step. Uh, thrilled to see all the people here. Thrilled to see the people from Akron and Summit County. Thrilled to see the people that are not from Akron and Summit County. Uh, just in the 15 or 20 minutes I was standing here, the amount of energy, social media, tweets, Facebook, things are going on is just... It's epic, so fantastic, a great morning, great way to start, and hopefully for years to come as this uh, entire block gets uh, renovated, this is something people can look at and enjoy. Uh, they'll take pictures, they'll, they'll work the hashtag, when people say this is what's going on in downtown Akron, they care, they wanna make it a wonderful place to visit. So thank you to Howard and the team and everybody for making this happen. We're just thrilled to be part of it. Enjoy the day. Thanks, Greg. You know, in addition to the iconic photo that we're looking at here, and of course the, the iconic band from Akron, uh, how about a round of applause for Chili Dog Mac, the restaurant? And we know that uh, this was not the exact location, but it's close enough, and we've got a number of members of the family of the original owners of Chili Dog Mac here. How about a round of applause for those good folks? And now I have the pleasure of introducing the photographer, Janet McCoskey. Um, you know, I gotta say that w when we did these photos, and I'm talking about the guys from Devo and myself, we were all just starting out. I mean, I was 23, you guys are probably about the same age, and this this is true collaboration. This is when there's no barriers between between artists, and you just you have fun. And that's, that's what this was all about that day, was just having some fun. So, iconic, I'm not sure how it turned out that way, but... Um, I'm, I'm so thrilled 37 years later to see this have another life and to pay tribute to our Akron hometown band, international superstars, yeah. Devo! I just, I just had the opportunity just before we came out to say hello to Jerry and I told him that as a kid going to college in the 80s, I, I lived in Illinois, and I didn't know a heck of a lot about the band. All I really knew was what I saw on MTV, and we all remember that. Now, all you guys, you guys knew so much more about the band than I did, right? But in 2008, they came here, and they played with the Black Keys and with Chrissy the first and only time that the three Akron classic rock acts wow. have gotten together on the Civic Theater stage, and when, when Diva walked out to headline that show, they played the first note, and I thought to myself, that is the best rock and roll band I have ever seen in my entire life. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's my pleasure to introduce Jerry Casale. Hey, everybody. Hi. Well, this is a really a <laughs> unexpected devolved honor. I'm, I'm really honored to be here. It's great. And I'd like to thank the whole team that's been introduced to you that made this happen. Um, I had to jog my memory about it because so many, so many things were happening 
at that time, like every day. Um, this uh, has been often uh, referred to as iconic, and I, I think it actually uh, deserves it. Deserves, deserves the title. Anyway, this, this photograph by Janet um, uh, was uh, taken on a break from filming uh, at the Akron Civic inside when we were doing uh, the video to satisfaction. That's why we have the uh, guitars and the gear and everything straight off the stage. We were filming a mock performance as uh, one scene from the video. And we had just returned from uh, Germany from just recording our first record uh, with uh, Brian Eno as producer. And we, had, we, were, we were back and we were on a break preparing to go to, to California to move there to kind of police our, our label, Warner Brothers Records, our domestic label, and had to be in proximity back then when, when there was a real record business. And, uh, and, and we got a desperate call from uh, Virgin Records, which was our European label, that uh, our song Satisfaction was getting airplay. And they needed a video. And they offered us $5,000. <laughs> which was actually in 78, a big hunk of money for a, a starving band. And we, we were still starving because we were just this cult band and nothing had really happened yet. It was all about to happen for better or worse. So we, <laughs> you know, we got busy and Mark and I quickly came up, came up with an idea and fleshed it out. I filled in all the storyboards with the shot list and the description. He put the drawings in. We called Chuck Statler, who had moved to Minneapolis. He had done our film with us in 1976, The Truth About De-Evolution, that kind of put us on the art crowd map, because it went to the art and our film festival. And we thought, let's keep the team together, let's keep doing this. And we brought him in from Minneapolis to produce. And, um, you know, it was crazy. Everything was do-it-yourself, no permits, this and that. Um, and we came out here on a break with Janet on the street um, while we were changing camera angles and stuff and started shooting. And like she said, having fun, just coming up with things to do around here. And, of course, you know, Chuck Pos uh, Cole. What's your name? Pozelski. Yeah, yes. Wait a minute, I had it written down. Kozlowski. Okay. <laughs> Chili Dog Mac was, was, was a must. You know, we all said, oh, we have to take pictures in front of Chili Dog Mac. And that day, the, the, you know, the, the, the filming produced really a wealth of photographs in a lot of locations around here on the street. But this one, out of all of them, became the one that kind of withstood the test of time because it's so incongruent that these five guys that look like they got plunked down from another planet, you know, from a spaceship stuck on the street in front of a populist hot dog joint, uh, it kind of like resonates now today more than ever. And, uh, this, you know, here we are with, uh, from left to right, Bob number two, Casali, who I wish was here today. I wish he was here to see this. Myself, Mark Mothersbaugh there in the middle, Bob, his brother, Bob One, next to him, and another departed Devo member, uh, Alan Myers. And as you can see, we were able to eat chili dogs back then without gaining a pound. Uh, those were the days. So anyway, I'd just like to thank everybody, really, one more time. This is great. I can't believe this turned out. Thank you very much. Thank you, Michael Pillman. Okay. All right, we're going to have some uh, questions here. If anybody's got questions for the, uh, from the audience, these folks would love to answer them for you. Uh, I'd like to give a shout-out really quick, though, to Stray Dog, providing the Chili Dog Mac this morning. Outstanding. All right, does anybody have any questions for anybody up here? Right back there. Actually, if there's a free talk, 
at the Akron Art Museum on Thursday, this coming Thursday at 6.30, and I've actually scanned probably every frame of film. It's only two rolls of film because back then you considered that, you know, just like, uh, yeah, it costs money. So, two rolls of film. So, so I'm going to kind of go through the story and you'll see a lot of the photos. But no, I, they haven't really been published. Probably just a frame or two from when they were filming. And this one has just kind of had its own life.